Should you hold or sell the Jordan 4 Union Guava Ice? What is up everybody? Nick and Matt here with Swap to bring you another shoe review. Today we're here to take a look at the new Jordan 4 Union Guava Ice. But before we hop into the shoe, please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you are not already subscribed. It truly, truly does mean a lot to us and it helps us out a ton. And we are writing a blog with every video we put out, so the link is in the description below to that. But that's enough with all that, guys. Let's hop right into the shoe. All right, guys, so as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, this is the Jordan 4 Union guava ice colorway uh, starting with the outsole it's your classic jordan 4 outsole it has this uh kind of like banana custard color and then the front of the foot you have a white little patch and then the middle to the back of the foot is this pinkish uh patch where i guess it's guava with the blue nike air stamped in the middle moving up to the midsole it's still going to be that whole banana custard color and then moving up to the upper of the shoe a few differences from a typical jordan which you probably noticed already would be the Jordan 4, like that wing. Uh, instead of having that cut out, it's kind of just indented. So it's fully there and it's transparent. Looks kind of dope in my opinion. And then also this paneling right here, it's, it's kind of different. What it is, is the laces comes all the way down and wraps around the entire shoe. Uh, and then this like side panel on the lateral side of the shoe, instead of coming up into the toe box, it kind of cuts up into where the laces go, which is also kind of dope. It's just a different, a whole different look at the shoe or iteration. Mm -hmm. And then usually this bottom wing where the laces go is covered uh, and it's not here, it's exposed stitching. But the toe box material is gonna be this kind of like padded mesh. It's like a blue pad with white mesh on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then you have the same banana custard cage on the lateral and the medial. And then the back of the shoe is gonna be that guava pink mesh as well with the blue sock liner padded. And the insole is all blue with the pink Jumpman and the Union logo. And then back on the heel tab is gonna be the blue heel tab with pink Nike Air stamped right on the back. And then the main difference of this shoe, so many differences, they did a lot with it, is gonna be the tongue. Typically your Jordan 4 tongue is a little higher and then it has the Air Jordan that you see right here on the Union uh, on the back side upside down. So what they did is just flip over the tongue, stitch it together. And you can undo that stitching to expose a real Jordan 4 tongue if that's something you want to do. We're not going to do that for you. We kind of like it like this, you know. They made it different. I think mm -hmm. it's cool. Mm -hmm. Matt, tell, tell the people what you think of this sh shoe here. Right, so I'm not typically a fan of Jordan 4s. I think that they're too bulky of a shoe, just for me and my opinion. Uh, obviously, that's subjective. A lot of people like a bulky shoe, like Nick. Mm -hmm. But I like what Union has done in the past. As a lot of you know, the, the, the collaboration they did with the Jordan 1s is my favorite pair of shoes uh, basically all time. So I'm excited to see them kind of come back with another really well done collaboration. I think really well done collaboration. And one of the things that I look for in a collaboration typically is how, how much of the shoe they play with. Mm -hmm. And they played with a lot in this shoe for sure. And Nick touched on a lot of those points in the, in the front portion of the video, just what they did with paneling and what they did with the tongue and materials. Changing up, not the silhouette, but changing up how the shoe is constructed, I think is really cool. Yeah. And it kind of resembles what they did with a pair of Jordan 1s as well. They didn't play as much with paneling on that shoe, but you can tell that they definitely they play with construction and how things on the shoe were put together or how they, how they played with the panels in that shoe. So I think they did the same thing here, and they did they did a really good job, and it's a it's a it's a well done shoe, and it's it's something that I'm excited that we have in hand for sure. One other thing I wanted to mention real quick too, as far as the wearability goes on this pair of shoes, again this is just my opinion, um, and obviously the pink guava whatever color you want to call this on the shoe is fairly loud, but I feel like the rest of the shoe is a fair bit toned down. So even though on the surface this shoe probably comes off fairly loud especially especially with the blues in here too yeah um i think overall it's fairly wearable i think it's more wearable than a lot of people think it would be but it's definitely something that's not like gonna scream at everybody as you walk down the street with it i think you can you can get away with this 
you know, without turning heads when you're walking, wherever you're walking for sure. Yeah. So would you throw the yellow laces in or no? I don't, I don't know. I mean, the Union Yellow is like damn near really iconic, I feel like at this point. Yeah. But there's nothing that the Union Yellow matches in this shoe besides the stitching that you would cut on the tongue. Right. And the Union Tag, which you can't really see. But I might throw them in, maybe just because they're, you know, it's a Union collaboration. Yeah. But I think that this kind of sail color looks really good in the shoe. And I don't know if I want to play around with it too much. So we asked at the beginning of this video, should you hold or sell this Jordan 4 Union and the Guava Ice colorway? And we're here to tell you, you should definitely hold onto the shoe. Uh, right now, people are all getting their pairs in. Prices are dropping. I think this right here, in at least this size, this is size 9, is like at $800, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty low, considering like, Relative. the Off Noir. How, is that how you say that? Off Noir? I, sure. <laughs> The black one is uh is going for like eleven hundred, so and that one's gonna release again. It's gonna have a wider release through sneakers, but this is Union exclusive, kind of like the Storm Blue Jordan One mm -hmm. uh, was. So definitely hold on to them. Let people get their money, sell all the shoes quick, because that's what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Hold on to it, make the most you can. Anyways, Matt, out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. Um, as I said, fours. I'm not a huge fan of. Right. But if I take the silhouette of this shoe out of the equation, I'm a really big fan of it. I like this colorway actually a lot. Yeah. I like this colorway a lot more in hand than I thought I would, uh, just judging based on the on the photos we saw. I'm gonna go ahead and give this. I'm gonna give this like a like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I don't, I don't want to throw it a nine just because I don't know. I'm weird about nine club and. It's kind of become a thing on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> but I think at 8.8 .8 out of 10, I think this is uh, well-deserving. And that's high for a 4. Yeah. Uh, for me. For you. Yeah. I like 4s a lot. Mm -hmm. um, for me, this is going to be... Matt actually gave it higher than what I'm going to give it. Whoa. Which is like shocking. I was surprised he gave it an 8.8. .8. I was going to be at an 8.5 with it. Um, just because it's... No matter what you do, it's still kind of wild. Mm -hmm. It's like a wild shoe. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be harder to wear. You still can, obviously, uh, but the black colorway, I think, is going to be easier to wear. So that would have gotten like a nine from me just because they still did the same thing, but a different color. Anyways, most of my points are coming from the packaging. I mean, look at this box, people, gentlemen. This guy, his box is... His... This box? Hold on. One second. And look at this. Look at this right here. Look at that. Can you yeah. see that? Uh-huh. Yeah, they can. I'll also get B-roll. Yeah, yeah. Look. So anyways, 8.5 out of 10. Happy with the shoe, super dope. Mm -hmm. Happy to have them in hand and be able to give you a close look. All right guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching our video on the Jordan 4 Union and the Guava Ice color. Mm -hmm. We appreciate every single one of you. If you're on Instagram and Twitter, make sure you give us a follow at Swapsco. The links are in the description below. Yep, and as always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. It does mean a ton, and we love seeing all the new people coming our way. Also, please remember to smash the like button for us. That truly does help out the channel. And let us know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this pair of shoes. Let us know if you're holding them. Let us know if you're selling them. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.